Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the Tech News Edition of October 20th. Alright, so as some of you know, the whole Apple Samsung scandal thing came out again, and what do you know? Over in the UK, a judge has actually said, hey uh, Apple, why don't you go ahead and put a banner up on your website that says that Samsung didn't infringe you? So I think for about six months, uh, Apple has to put a banner up right on top of their UK website. I don't think you're going to see it in America, but in their UK website, it's going to say, hey, uh, yeah, they didn't really copyright and infringe on us and all that other stuff. So that's stinking awesome! All right, now big news for everybody that either torrents, goes to the Pirate Bay, does whatever it is that's illegal on the internet, your world is about to come crashing down if you are with a big ISP, aka AT&T, Verizon, Comcast, and many others are actually playing ball with this thing that came down from the Center for Copyright Information. And the whole thing, basically what it boils down to, is they're going to watch you, and if they see that you're uh, downloading stuff illegally, they're either going to slap you with a fine, or they're going to throttle down your bandwidth. If you don't know what throttling down your bandwidth is, it's where they say, okay, you're getting uh, 15 megabytes up and 30 down. Then they're going to say, whoa, little Jimmy over here is downloading stuff and we don't want him to do that. So let's just bring him down to 10 and 5. So you're not going to have the fast internet that you once had because they're thinking that you're abusing it. And what else they're going to do is they're going to make you review educational stuff. Like it's when you get a ticket for driving too fast and they make you go to like driver school. That's pretty much what it's going to equate to, like, do you think piracy is wrong? So, so you can see that coming down the tubes in the next couple of weeks. With other news, let's go over to Heinskitz Velvet. Thank you, Zachary. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Heinskitz Velvet, and I will be reporting some of the news for you today. Now, apparently, it looks like the TSA is going to be taking rid of the x-ray scanners in some of the major airports. You know, the things where you put your hands in the air and they circle you? Those are going, bye-bye, see you later. They are already starting to take some of them out from the major airports, and I think that is great, because I like to fly with my friends. Apparently, some of the people are actually generating the cancer inside their body. Maybe could be from the scanner, you think, maybe? Maybe the x-rays without the lead vest? I, it seems to work on the rats in my lab, but I don't know. That's just hypothesis, I guess. And apparently they are starting to put them in the smaller airports, which is crazy because nobody ever uses them. It's very, very weird. I don't understand it. But, something else. Nintendo is actually starting to investigate the manufacturer of Foxconn for using child labor. That is not good. I, I only make small animals and chimpanzees work for me. You don't make small children. That is crazy. I don't understand it. Apparently, they are having interns there that are 14 to 16 years old. That is us. I think it's about time they start earning their fair share. That's all we have for the scientific and the child labor data. Back to you, Zachary. Thanks. Alright, so in other news, Black Ops 2 is coming out, and apparently they're going to try to revamp it. You're not only going to see different creative classes. You're not going to be stuck with the whole pick 10 creative class and you get prestige and you get all that other stuff. They're trying to focus more on the gameplay thing. So, on the gameplay aspect of it. So hopefully what you're going to see is they're going to try to bring up the points in the objective based games. I was playing a game the other night and we were trying to defend and trying to attack and capture the flag and all that other stuff. And my teammates were just killing. I was like, oh, a little help and I kept getting murdered by the flag. So hopefully they're going to try to uh, balance out the whole, oh, I'm just going to sit there and kill because it's easy to kill somebody going for the flag. So hopefully they're going to drop down the points for you get for killing somebody and up up the points for the objective-based games. So tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that you're going to like the new Black Ops? Do you guys like the old ones? Do you think there's anything they can improve on? Do you guys think that Treyarch is kind of meh and Infinity Ward is awesome even though they disbanded? I personally like Infinity Ward. I think Treyarch... Is just okay at making video games because all of them are pretty much the same, but yeah, you never know. They could change my mind with Black Ops too. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment down below whatever you are thinking, and I will see you guys next time.